Uh, well, I met Wit Stillman in Los Angeles. He's the writer director. Yes. Yeah, and uh, read a few scenes with him, and it's such a clever, witty film. It's sort of got a, almost an Oscar Wildean kind of vibe to it. But uh, just looking at that clip now, I didn't put the curlers in my hair this morning. <laughs> no, you're barely recognisable. That's all right. We can, <laughs> we can, we can project. Now the story is about a widow who goes out in search of a rich husband for herself and for her daughter. Yeah, that's right. She's sort of um, using love as a tool for survival and um, manipulating um, everyone that she sort of comes in contact with. So it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of enjoyable to watch. She ought to be kind of despicable, but uh, you end up sort of rooting for her. Well, also because it's played by Kate Beckinsale, who, who is, has played these scheming sort of and charming characters before. Uh, but those who are fans of, of Jane Austen, are probably going to love this because it, even though the novella was unfinished and there were sort of some liberties taken with it, um, it stays clearly stays true to her to her spirit and her playful ethos. But they probably might be riled up as well because um, Whit Stillman has taken some liberties with the script too. So, where do you think the Jane Austen fans will fall down on this one? Well, I think you know it's uh, it's less of a romantic tale and more uh, you know. Like I say, a kind of manipulation. So a comedy you, of manners. Yeah, a comedy of manners, and such a wonderful cast: um, Stephen Fry and Chloe Sevigny and James Fleet, all these yeah. extraordinary actors. So to be counted among them, is, um, you know, really terrific. Well, people like um, Chloe Sevigny and Kate Beckinsale, they've worked with Whit Stillman before, and have, and I, I, I kneel at his feet, uh, if only for the last days of disco, which is sort of <laughs> one of the one of the great films of the 80s that I revere. And in a sense, this is a continuation. That was a comedy of circumstance, of time, of manners, and of sort of social mores as well, as this is. What, what did you find was the big challenge for your role? Um, well, just sort of wrapping your, your head around the way that the people interacted in that time. It's so different from our time. And, and the dialogue is quite demanding too. It's very snappy and quick and, and so to, to get a proper handle on that. And, you know, Kate Beckinsale studied literature at Oxford, so she's got a, you know, a really terrific um, command of language. Um, so, yeah, those are, those are the sorts of challenges that present themselves. Now, as a young actor for you, this is a terrific opportunity to, to mix with a certain level of actors that you wouldn't normally, particularly at your age. What exposure do you get and what do you learn from them in the way they approach the craft? Uh, I think, you know, just being around someone like Stephen Fry, who's such a kind of fierce intellectu intellectual mind, and, and you kind of, um, I don't know, you just... You just <laughs> learn by being around them and, and I think you know Chloe Sevigny has got such a subtle um, inventive um, way of working and and uh, yeah I think every interaction you learn a little bit more as you go along. Tell us about um, working on uh, the Twilight Saga and, and what role that played in, in your life. Was it, was it, it, it always it, it, from a, a viewer's perspective, there was no, never much mirth going on that, you know, that, <laughs> that I could enjoy from from the point of view of a viewer. But was it was there ele a great element of fun on, on the um, on the actual stage? Yeah, it was fun. I mean, it was a long time ago now, and it's a very different world to um, to Austin. Um, yes. that's for sure. <laughs> um, but yeah, look, it opened a lot of doors for me, and and um, you know, I'm very grateful for the for the experience. So. Did it seem like it at the time? Did it seem? Were you able to sort of put your finger on the moment and go, something is really changing for me here because of this role and because of the popularity of the series? Yeah, I mean, it was it was kind of gigantic, and it was on, it really was. on, on the back of buses and, and all that sort of stuff, <laughs> you know, <laughs> before I stepped on board. So, um, yeah, and and particularly working with David Slade, who directed the third film, and he's he's a he's a really terrific filmmaker and. And um, yeah, so it sort of brought me into contact with some really, some really great people. Now you've been coming back to Australia. You, I think you've got uh, you've been working on a few films and a few uh, theatre projects as well. You've been sort of quite uh, deliberate in plugging back into your roots back here. Yeah, I, th I think you know it's always great to to remain a part of an industry that supported me in the first place. There's so many great Australian filmmakers, and so um, yeah, to continue to be a part of that's really you know. Exciting, I guess. Jeremy was mentioning you, you being part of this, the, the new, um, the next, if you like, younger wave of, of actors really making name for themselves overseas. Does it seem like that from your perspective? Do you have a sort of a sense of collegiality, if you like, uh, with other actors of your generation who are out there doing it too? Uh, I think so. I mean, especially spending a lot of time in Los Angeles, it's great to have that, that support 
network of, of uh, you know, Australian actors. So it actually works that way, does it? You are in contact with each other and from time to time at least? Uh, I think so. There's also, you know, there's a mentality when you go overseas where you want to feel like you're, you're doing it on your own yes. as well. So I think that's, there's, a, there's an element of that, but, um, you know, it, it is great to have a bunch of people that you can hang out with and, and kind of, you know, share, share the, the, the stories and the various adventures you go on. And Xavier, when you do come back to Australia, um, where do you call home now? Because I know that you were born in Hamilton, but actually I think raised in South Australia. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I grew up in Adelaide, so um, I was just there recently shooting a film over there, so it was great to spend time with friends and family there. Is this the one about the BNS ball? <laughs> no, that, that's a film called Spin Out, which, um, which we shot in Shepparton. So, right. yeah. Oh my goodness, yeah. BNS balls in Shepparton. It's a, it's a BNS ball yeah. and, and a youth master. Yeah. It's a rom com. Beautiful. <laughs> that's fantastic.